Hi, everybody. Um, there we go. We're going to do converting degrees to radians. And I'm going to show you how to use the Inspire to do so as well. Um, it's easiest by hand, but it's okay. Now, the key to the whole thing is this idea of when we get to the unit circle and we go around, we go from zero degrees all the way to 360 degrees. But when we talk about the unit circle has a radius that's equal to 1, and we talk about the circumference, this is 2 pi r. So it's 2 pi times the radius. The circumference is 2 pi times 1. So the circumference is 2 pi. Now, this 2 pi gives us our radians. And the radian if we look at the circle, the radian is actually going to be the measure of the degree that gives us a certain arc length. And it's just a different way of measuring degrees. So, I mean, that's a really cliff notes way. You can Google how what radians are more specifically. But radians are just a different way of measuring degrees. And we use a lot of radians in um, the upper levels of mathematics. Now, converting is very, very simple. And it goes to the fact that in order to go around the entire circle, we need 360 degrees. But in radians, to go around the entire circle, unit circle, it's 2 pi. So the conversion factor is 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi, and if you don't like that, divide by 2, you get 180 degrees is equal to pi. And this is the conversion factor that we want. Now, radians, this one's kind of all over the place, but that's okay. Radians are always going to take the form of some number times pi over some number. So we want pi in the numerator. Degrees, we don't want pi at all. Degrees are like being on the diet. And so pi, we don't want that. So the easiest way to do this is using a unit analysis of some kind. Say you have 30 degrees. Your theta is equal to 30 degrees. And we want this in radians. So we take 30 degrees. I'm at my train tracks. That's what I always call it. Old habits die hard. Now, in order to do this, I need to use this conversion factor or this conversion factor. And since I can divide out measurements, or units rather, degrees is a unit of measure, 180 degrees over pi. And I would recommend always doing this by hand if you can. 3, the zeros divide out. And we get 3 into 180 is 6. You get pi over 6. So 30 degrees is equal to pi over 6 radians. Say theta is equal to 120 degrees. Same thing, 120 degrees. We use our conversion factor this way. So this is a lot like chemistry, where you have your conversion factors, and you can divide units. So we're dividing out our, um, our degrees, and we're left with um, radians. Now in here, I know the zeros divide out, so I just look at the 12 and the 18, and I see that 6 goes into both of those. And in this case, you get 2 pi. Because 6 goes into 12 2 times, 6 goes into 18 3 times, so you get 2 pi over 3. Now, if you want to convert the other way, you get your theta is equal to, oh, say 5 pi over 4. And we want this in degrees. So you make your train tracks, 5 pi over 4. And radians don't have a unit. 
But since I know pi is in the numerator, I want to get rid of pi because there's no pi in degrees. So I'll put pi in the bottom and 180 degrees here. And if we look here, it's the reciprocal. So we're going to use the reciprocal of the conversion factor, which and it will give us our degrees. In this case, the pi is divide out. And now we have to do some work here. 4 goes into 180 90 times. And then we get, or 2 goes into 4 2 times, goes into 180 90 times. 2 goes into 2 1 times, goes in there 45 times. Now we have 5 45s. So 5 times 5 is 25. And, oops, that's a 5. That's not a 2. It's still early in the morning. Second hour prep, that's why you get these wonderful videos. So 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. That's 20, that's a 2, that's a 225. So this is equal to 225 degrees. So we get 5 pi over 4 is equal to 2 pi, um, or is equal to 225. Now, the converting between the two of them should be one of the easiest things that you do. You've done this in chemistry. It's a just 180 equals pi. And we use that conversion factor of 180 and pi. Just one really quick step here. Now, in the calculator, I already did one here. Now, remember back to when we were talking about degrees, minutes, and seconds. Um, this key, the solid right pointing arrow, is, a, is the conversion key. And we can convert if you type in rad, you convert to radians. And remember from earlier in the year, if we do DMS, this is degrees, minutes, seconds, which is fine. So, let's say I have pi over 6. So I take pi divided by 6. And I want to convert this to radians. So I don't want that. Well, it's actually in the book. It's, and that's where I found this. You can see the, uh, the arrow rad. But I don't want to do that. So I'm going to escape out of there. I'm just going to hit control book which will give me all the symbols and there's my symbol that's the one I want so I'll hit enter or whatever it is I'll type in rad on the keypad no, I don't want keypad because we're already in radians I want degrees minutes seconds so I want degrees minutes seconds and it gave me a weird number It gave me a weird number. Oh, I think I know. I think I know. If we're in settings and we go to document, which is two, and no, we're in degrees. So I wonder why that happened. Interesting. Maybe I just don't want to. Let's go to four. Let's try. It's always fun, and it's always fun sometimes to see when things screw up, too, because then we learn. Why don't we just try degrees? All right, that didn't work either. Well, we didn't get a whole lot of degrees, minutes, seconds out of that, we, because pi over 6 should give us... 6 goes into 180 30 times, so we should get 30 degrees. So, apparently, that doesn't work too good. So, pi over 6, uh, we're just going to have to multiply this. Actually, what we'd want to do is go pi divided by 6. So this is good because it shows us that, all right, well, we actually have to set things up. 
the proper way. Now I want to get rid of pi, so I'll put pi in the bottom, and I'll put 180 degrees up top, then you get your 30. We're good to go. Now if we have 30 degrees, and we want to convert this to radians, that's when we hit control that, hit this, and hit rad, and we get radians. Now the only issue that you're going to get is you're not going to get the nice pi over 6. You're going to get this value. But if you take pi over 6, pi divided by 6, and you hit enter, it's the same value. So we still have it. We don't get the nice pi over 6, but we still are able to actually convert to radians. That will help us in some of our calculations. So I will find how we can make the Inspire work a little bit better going from radians to degrees. But honestly, when it comes right down to it, you can do these by hand because a lot of times these are just the special angles that we convert.